Okay, so we'll, we'll just start with Squiggly. So, for those of you who don't know, Squiggly is a stance character. So, she has two stances, punch stance and kick stance, and she can charge it. Um, she can also cancel her stances, and if you have a charge, it's faster. Um, basically, all this character wants to do is get those as fast as possible, and then get any amount of meter, because once she has it, she just becomes really, really stupid. Uh, and then, like, she has this button, which controls the air, and then this button is, like, the most goaded air-to-air -air button I've ever seen. It can combo into itself, that's how good it is, if you're, like, if you're good enough. But if, like, anything, like, you see someone jump, you do that, and you convert it. Um, as for, like, what you do on block and stuff with her, because she has stances and you can cancel your stances at any point, um, one of the, like, cheapest things about her is the fact that she can, like, cancel her block chain at any point. So, like, her block chains go from being minus, uh, to pretty dang plus. So, like, that's plus four, where it's originally minus four. And, like, that's this character in a nutshell. Um, so you can do this with either stance. So you can do it with a kick stance, too. And it's the same thing when you cancel it. Uh, but you want to have a charge, because otherwise, like... Like, you're still plus, but you're, like, not as plus, and it's kind of slow. And it's, like, it's honestly feels weird when it's not, like, charged. Uh, so, like, now that's, like, plus eight, where it went from being plus one when you canceled it. So she, she can create her own plus frames, right? The thing is, you can push block her, right? Um, so the opponent can push you away, but she's cheap. Because if she has meter, even if they push you away... So let's say, for example, I have no idea what this is called in this game. Like, you're still plus and you can go back in. Or you can just spend a bar. And then, like, keep them, like... You know you know what I'm trying to say? You can just keep them there. And then she has a standing overhead that keeps you there, even if you push block it early. You can cancel any point, And then just basically mix you. So... She has, with stance, a plus on block overhead, a plus on block low, and then she could do stuff like low overhead, low low, low stance cancel throw. It, it gets so hard to block. Like jab overhead, low overhead, low low, low, cancel to be plus. Like that's what she wants to do. And if she ever has trouble getting in or getting stance, you can always spend a bar and either get your stances or just go in. It's pretty crazy. Whoa. Uh, she also has a dive kick. So, like, you can do stuff like that. That's pretty cheap. Um, and because you can cancel, like, normals into specials in this game on whiff, um, what most quigglies will do is they'll use, like, their two jumps and, like, whip a button, and then, like, autocorrect dive kick just to, to go in. She can get anti for this, but she could do it at any point. And she, like, doesn't have to dive kick. So, like, things like cross up, like, mash button into, like, dive kick, squigglies will do that, combo off of it, dive kick to get to the ground for a mix-up faster. Uh, things like that are really, really good. Dive kick to convert air throws, things like that. So like you, you kind of just like throw out your dive kicks. The heavy one is overhead, the other ones are not, and the light one is not that good um, on block. The medium one is like fine on block, I believe. You don't want to get push blocked. Yeah, you're still plus. You just gotta be careful at the height you do it. Uh, but yeah, this character. Is all about the stances, all about using like resources. Like you, you want to ideally play a team where you can build resources really fast, so you can just spend it, um, and just like go for like basic mix up. Her her issues are are really mobility, but she has a move that actually just drags you from the screen. So as long as you have this stance, you're pretty broken. The broken thing about this stance too is that when you do this. That into that is unblockable if the opponent was doing any action or if they weren't blocking prior. And that also includes her other super. So this super here actually can be jumped on reaction when it happens. But if she does this, then that is unblockable. You cannot do anything about it. If you're pushing a button, 
and she was close to you and she does this, you are getting supered. Guaranteed. You cannot stop her. It is so stupid. It's like, imagine you're playing red light, green light, and you can't react to her saying, like, red light. <laughs> and then you die. The, the reward for that happening is you die. That's squiggly. That's what she does. She's so annoying. Uh, her level 3 is like a fireball that kind of tracks, but it also kind of doesn't. Um, this doesn't lose to anything except if they snap you. So if you just want to throw it out and they can't get to you to snap you in time, they have to deal with it as well. Yeah, as for ways for getting the stance, if you like open up the opponent, this is a decent way to get one. If you're good. I'm not good. Uh, stance. I am unfortunately not the best. I believe you can also do this. Oh, so that's like an example of getting a stance. And that sets up your blockables and whatnot. You, you pick her if you like stance cancels and you just don't want to play neutral. Like this is a J, I don't want to play neutral. They cannot do anything about that. If she has this, you are at her mercy. It is so dumb. Um, as for like her other moves, like this move is really good. Especially like charge, like it's plus on block, it causes a hard knockdown. You can combo into it. So like at any point, if you have discharged or like say you have an assist, like you can go like. Then you get your other charge. That's really, really good too. The other thing about her that's really good is her hurt boxes. They're so tiny. When she does this button and this button, like this button doesn't low profile as good, the crouching medium kick. That button is the like footsie tool. But her crouching light kick has her going so low to the ground and it hits both sides like that. She is actually tiny as hell. So you like definitely, if you're good at like playing characters that low profile things, then she's also a good pick. But for the most part, um, yeah, no, not even for the most part. Like she's just small. Like she'll just fall out of combos because she's so skinny as well. It, it definitely comes up in matches. You'll find yourself just being too small and like hitting the opponent for trying to hit you randomly. I'm going to try to get it to happen real quick. Like that, like. Normally, well, that will hit you if you're like good. You can low profile it and like smoke them. And good squiggly players, like they 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 just do this, and it's so frustrating. It is absolutely frustrating. Um, really, really good thing about her. I guess the other thing to keep in mind is if you have both stances, this on block and on hit does match ship, and if you have this stance. You can always convert like that. Like this move by itself sucks, but charged. Why did that happen? It doesn't matter. The screen is shifting. Yeah, the charged moves also have different properties too. Like this move is invincible, like hit and vol when it's not charged. And when it is charged, it's like just faster. So it's like, it's weird. It's just weird. And then with this is charged, like you get to like do this, where normally you can't do it. But like now we're getting to specifics, and like that's not what I'm trying to do. But long story short, that's quickly. Like you player, if you just want to do those things. As for assist, the main one is this lockdown assist. You pick it if you want to lock the opponent down. And it is so plus and it restands, so like it hits and you can mix them right away. Um. So long story short, that's squiggly. She is a character that you play if you like small characters, if you like air airing, and if you like stance canceling and making yourself plus when you're not plus. It is so annoying. Standing overhead low throw the character. This character is so dumb. So Big Band is really big. This means that he gets like instant overheaded like crazy, like rising buttons overhead him and he kind of gets smoked. But, uh, as a defensive character, like characters like in this game have got like defensive options and he has probably, well he doesn't probably, he does have like every single option to stop every single type of offense because he has parry. So like no matter, no matter what type of mix up it is, he always has the option to potentially parry you and smoke you, right? So if you are a player who likes parries, like he, he is like. He is the chosen one, and if you if you are ready, like 
to do that, then you are the chosen big band player. All right, let's get that out of the way. Um, for the most part, like for neutral and buttons, he doesn't really have good air to air buttons, but he does have good pressure buttons. Jumping light kick, it's a really good button to just like, you know, try to like hit someone out of the air. Jump back light symbols or tiger knee symbols, like doing this is so annoying. Like, look at this hitbox, bro. Boom. Most of the cast, like, has to really, really be, like, careful trying to deal with that. This is, like, his go-to. Um, from full screen, he has this move, which unblockables do if you're on the ground. It'll not do any damage, but you can get this, and that does a lot of damage. Just for, like, an oopsie. It's like, oopsie. It's like, wow. Um, as for, like, his grounded buttons, like, that one's pretty big. His jab is really good, has a good crushing light kick. Uh, this button is big and it pulls you in. So basically, like, he can do stuff like this. That's like his hit confirm. Um, and in the neutral game, he's trying to either hit you with one of these and then do this move. His brass is like a charge move. So you're basically holding back every time you do this move so that you can do a hard knockdown, run up, and then do a 50 50. He has low, throw. And then this is an instant overhead. Just jumping medium kick. So he also has like, even though he gets mixed by the entire cast, uh, they have free high lows on him. He can also do the exact same thing back to everybody. So he's like, he he's crazy at stuff like that, right? Um, I would say his biggest issue is like he can't air to air, but he has like the best throws in the game, or like some of the best throws in the game. So for example, if they're jumping a lot, like his dash jump air throw is ridiculous. And you get a conversion off of it. And then his grounded throw is also ridiculous. It is like six inches, bro. Like, bruh. That was so far. And you get a full combo. So he can actually cancel his brass. And he has another move that's called A Train. Also causes hard knockdown. And you can also cancel it. This is also how he like closes the gap if he doesn't want to like throw this out because this can be a little risky, but like, like look how much cover uh, space that covers. Like it's it's so good, and if you can time it, then you can cover so much distance so fast. It's <laughs> it's absurd. Look at that <laughs> into mix. Um, he also has a DP because of course he would have a DP. Uh, light DP is really fast, medium DP is a little slower, and heavy DP is even slower than that. Um, like, the invincibility on them changes based on the one you do. So I would just link you the wiki and you can just read it. Uh, but the fact that he even has a DP is really good because people are just, they're just on him, right? He's so big, they're trying to mix him, and you're like, you're trying to mix me? Get a full combo. The wiki! It is so good. The wiki. Um, going back to giant step. This shit hits overhead. It is 18 frames up close. The wiki. Unsafe if they block it. And the, the medium one pulls them in. I believe the light one the also pulls them in, but not as hard. So like things like this the wiki. work not as good as like doing this. The wiki. But it's always nice to be able to have the easy option. And the hard option, right? So, he has an overhead. He has a full screen unblockable that also hits overhead. He has rush punch. These are armored. The light one is not armored, but it is fast. And you can space it like this. These are unsafe but cause hard knockdowns. Or the heavy one is unsafe but cause a hard knockdown. The medium one is in between. It's like for combos. And, uh... Honestly, for neutral, you only really want to use the light one and this one. He does have one more move that's really good, which is jumping hard kick. He's just like... <laughs> He's like, check out this hitbox, right? And then you can tech in a direction after it hits, right? So, like, if you read someone, like, being like, oh, you're trying to mug me, and, like, randomly hit them, then you get a combo. Like that. He also uses this in his B&B mid-screen like this. So that's really good. Yeah, he, he's a whole ass instrument, bro. Uh, that's really all you have to know about him. So, I like, 
a character with like big meaty buttons and like he punches you really hard. Like if you want to do stuff like that, then you pick him. And if you want to mash, you pick him because that super right there is invincible, is frame zero post flash, and has armor. So if someone is doing something, like if they're trying to mug you, you're like, mm, I don't really feel like it. And if that hits, if you want, you can do this again. That does half their health. If you if you hit them, counter hit because they're trying to do something, and you have another bar, that does half of their health. You're so smart. Not half, but it does like it almost does half. Um, he also has air super. This same thing doesn't have armor, but it does have hit stop and it is invincible. So like, if they're trying to mug you. You get a combo. You can also parry into it, which is really, really dumb. Uh, he has a level three. This does an absurd amount of damage, and you get uh, one of these if you hit it raw or have OTG. And he also has a level five, where you play a song. And then when this hits, you explode. As you might imagine, he hits you so hard that like they, they legit will not survive if they get hit by this character. And on top of that, there's one more thing he has, which is if he taunts, his level 1s become just level 3s. Why does he have that? I don't know. He does. He's really big. He needs it. His air super does this. And that does the most damage for a super, I believe, in the game, for him, or in general. It's like, it's an absurd amount of damage that he gets. And you don't even have to use it. You can choose not to use it. And then save it, and then use it later. But, before we move on, we'll talk about his assist in a second, but I need to show you guys what it's actually like to play him. Playing Big Band, you have to like accept that sometimes you're going to mash and be wrong or sometimes you're going to get hit and you're going to be like, damn, I really wish I wasn't big band. This character, like, characters get mixed. Big man gets taken around the world, bro. Instant overheads for days, lows for days. Big man, like, where am I? That That's the life of a big band player, right? Thankfully, because you do have parry, you can, like, you can mash or you can attempt to OS. So, for example, let's say, for example, this happens. Like, you can do stuff like that. So, you, you can fight back, but you might also die if you're wrong. So, just keep that in mind. As for assists, he has the best ones in the game. I use that assist, it's an armor assist. It does mad damage. Um, but he can also use like his DP assist as an assist and his anti-air like as an assist. And they're all god assists. Uh, I'm not gonna show all of them, but just like imagine like this is your assist. Or this is your assist. Or this anti-air is your assist. They're godlike. That's a big fan, he's godlike. Yeah. Okay, so Eliza is a whole ass skeleton. So, uh, this character's archetype is really weird to describe because she kind of turns into the skeleton and kind of just like chops you up like this. Um, she's very spooky. I don't recommend her because she's so spooky. Uh, so this skeleton mode has like this like wall bouncing attack. It hits mid. Has a grounded overhead, a jumping overhead. They can loop like that. And she also has an advancing low. So she can go like. Like that. Uh, uh, it also has a super. It's a hit grab. I have no idea what the input is. She goes suck my brain. So she sucks your brains. And then these blood droplets drop. When she's in the skeleton mode. So the skeleton mode itself. Actually takes health from you. As you can see my health is dropping. But when you hit the opponent. Uh, blood drops and you can pick it up to heal 
And you can actually be health positive if you do the right combo. Setting this up is really annoying, but alright. So now I have 5k health. Skeleton. 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 Super. I'm at 2k health now. Now I'm back at 5k. So like you you can heal all the health you've lost, and sometimes you can heal more. Depending on the combo you do. So her her game plan revolves around like if she needs to heal, use the skeleton to heal. Um, and if you need damage, use the skeleton to do damage. The only thing about it though is you don't build meter when doing this. So you need meter prior to doing it. Um, but there's not really too much to it. Like use the skeleton for like counter pokes, for combos. It has hyper armor, so if they like try to hit you while you're in this mode, they can't. Uh, but they can't break it by sweeping you or throwing you. Uh, and which is why she has the ability to do stuff like this. You can backdash cancel, like her attacks. So if they try to like reversal sweep you, uh, you could potentially punish them. So let's see if I can like get that to happen. I'm trying to show you the potential of the ankle breaks. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> Not the best Eliza player, but you can do stuff like that. Keep in mind, though, that backdashing with the skeleton takes a chunk of health, so you have to be really careful when you use it. You can, like, by accident, use up all your health and die if you're not careful. You really have to, like, manage your health and just, like, take the hits when you can. If you land a hit, you can, like, convert it with the skeleton and be fine. As for the character herself, she is an air dash character. She has one jump, feels bad, but she has really, really good pressure. Like the way we kind of describe her is like when she's on you, she kind of sticks to you. Cause like even if you push block her out, she has buttons that like kind of like go back in. So like for example, CPU push blocks are a little weird, but like she like sticks to you. She can always like make it back in. So her pressure is really good. Um, she's kind of a slow air dasher too, so she's not too hard to learn as well. Uh, this IAD jumping light kick hits overhead and can cross up as well. It's just like, it's like so annoying. Uh, she has a low, this is a two hitting low, but this is actually not too good on block. But she can also just do this, this move on block, it's really really good. Uh, she has summons, they're not great. So, one of them is like a full screen throw that causes a sliding knockdown that you can combo off of if you want. So that's a slide knockdown, you can go for a cross up, stuff like that. This one is a projectile, it's kind of doggy, uh, unfortunate. And this is an overhead projectile. Um, you kind of call it if you think people are about to go in or in combos. Yeah, you think someone's gonna like run in at you and like run into him, uh, that's what you use it for. She has... These moves. So this is her combo ender. Really good assist, not too good on block. This builds a little bit more meter than the other two, but I have max meter so I can't show you. And the light one, you can link off of for a combo one time in a combo. But it's a really good like combo extender, so that's really, really good. So with her, you just wanna like, you know, ID, get the hit. Do a combo. And uh, you're chilling. Land that hit. You can go into skeleton. This also causes a sliding knockdown, so you can combo afterwards, but you can also not. So that's also really good. Um, as for her normals, like jumping light kick is her main ID button. Medium kick, control space. Hard punch can like be done rising. And you can cross up like that. This move is like really slow and like the hitbox and hurtbox isn't that great. But it's like still a move like you want to use. So see like it's a lot of hurtbox and like very little hitbox. Uh, even though the hitbox is big, it doesn't last that long. So you really want to like pick your spots. Uh, as for other normals, her standing medium punch is good. So as you can see like she kind of like lowers herself. And then puts hitbox and then her box. This means that sometimes when you try to anti air people, um, you'll still get hit. But it also means that like if you know they're gonna go in, 
then you can anti-air them still. It's probably like one of the weaker anti-airs overall because stuff like that happens. But you can still, you know, occasionally, you know, smoke them. This was one, like, one of the first anti-airs put into the game. Uh, as a result, it has like a huge weakness. But it does still work as an anti-air here and there. As for other ground buttons, again, Crouching Light Kick is a uh, pretty far-reaching low. Dash of Throw with her is really good. Um, and you want to take advantage of like her air throw. Her air dash air throw is like probably among the best in the game. You just do it and like it'll like it might just clip them. And you get a full combo. Arguably better than trying to anti-air them. <laughs> uh, it's really, really good. Uh, she also has a DP. It is hit invincible and it is slow and it only hits like in front of her. Like this. So it's like not really that good. The opponent can easily jump over you and hit you. But if you read them going low, you could hit them with one of these and you can combo off of it. You know, get a nice combo going. As for the other ones, like the medium one doesn't really have a purpose. But in neutral, uh, you can use the heavy one as like kind of like a poke. So you can just like input it and hold up, and if it hits, you're like, oh, it hit, and your character will jump. Um, but for reversals, like this is like the only thing she has, and it's only really good against like lows or like air dash approaches from a distance. If they're on you, it is not the best thing in the world. And it's only hit invincible, so they can throw her too. She's very weak on defense because of these things, on top of being tall. But being able to DP a neutral like that is super strong. Like, if you're here, like, this is your zone. That's pretty much it. Like, this is a, a decent button, but not the best. Again, like, you're, you're probably going to DP more than not. And as for her sweep, it is projectile invul, but the projectile invincibility takes a long-ass time to happen. So, like, trying to react to projectiles with this, uh, you have to account for the startup. But it does go through projectiles, so I can show that, for example. See, like she took the hit and went through it. Um, as for her supers, she doesn't have too much versatility in her supers. She has one for her combo enders. So this is your combo ender. Da, 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 da. She has this one for hard knockdown. This one is pretty good. You knock them down, mix, you can combo into it. It is a hit grab and it doesn't have hit stop, but it is invincible. And once it's out, it's out. You can't really stop her. Um, her level 3 is also a good reversal. Uh, obviously, the only problem is you need 3 bars to do it. But... It's a good reversal. Good combo tool. As long as you have OTG, you can combo off of it. Good combo ender. Especially if you have Undizzy left. And again, the Skeleton Super, where she kind of like grabs you. Does that. You can combo off of it. And then you go back. So that's pretty much Eliza. You pick her if you like like these weird big buttons. If you want an air dash character that's not too fast, something to kind of like ease you into the game. Um, honestly, these moves kind of suck. I'm sorry, but they do exist. As for assists, she does have two really good assists. That's not one of them. So let me just pick her good assists. This is one of the best assists in the game. Once this assist is out, that skeleton cannot lose. Like, you can sweep it, but good luck sweeping it when the point character is trying to fight you. It has, like, basically hyper armor. So, if the opponent is trying to hit you, like, after it comes out, it's going to tank it and, like, smoke them. So, even if, like, she may not be the best, like, point character, like, it's not that she's bad, it's just, like, she's kind of, like, weird. Uh, you have access to like one of the dumbest assists in the game. It legit makes your block string safe. You can just like do a block string and then call her and she'll she'll hold you down. So she's really really good for that. But yeah, that's Eliza. Pack girls definitely rule. So we have probably the dumbest character in the whole game, which is Misfortune. She is an air dash character with a double jump. So in terms of mobility, she has everything in the game. She has a run. Double jump, air dash. So if you like mobility, you pick her. She has a DP 
that is safe on whiff because her DP is her movement tool. This is invincible. And you get a full combo for hits. This is actually one character where I do need to turn off the meter being at max because one of the things about this character is that she has Rekkas, but I wouldn't call her a Rekka character. She's like more of an air dash character. She has the best air to air footy tool in the game, in my opinion, which is her jumping light kick. She can retreat and do it, convert like that. She can do it late, which is really cheap. And if you try to air to air her, she has a move called Axe Kick. This move right here, this is like the last Samurai's Blade, bro. She has it. Let me turn attack data off. She leans back, and then look at that hitbox. And this shit autocorrects. So if someone is trying to anti-air you from doing that, she will simply shift her hurtbox backwards and kick you. And if that hits you, she gets a whole ass combo off of it. So on top of having the best mobility in the game, well, not even the best mobility, but like some of the best mobility in the game. Um, mobile DP, on a godlike footsie tool, she has an anti-anti-air. She is an incredible character. Um, she does high damage. She has unreactable mix-ups up close. Like, that's unreactable instant overhead. That's unreactable instant overhead. She has a really far-reaching low. And... She does have Rekkas, which are good for combo enders, but the thing about them that is like really, really dumb is that they build you so much meter. One Rekka builds you that much bar. And it could set up a mix up. You can do Rekka, 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 and then a string, and then go for a mix up. Rekka, Rekka, Rekka. And he combo into multiple records and combos and build a ton of bar. She has 5 frame jab, which is the fastest in the game, tied with Philia's, but her jab doesn't get low profiled like Philia's. So she has the best jab in the game. The two hitting jab is plus on block. Uh uh. This is zero on block. So that frame traps. That is zero on block, which means that will beat out people's buttons, except Philia's. That is effectively plus one. So she has a plus jab, and in this game, if you have plus moves on block, like plus jabs, jabs into instant overhead or jab into low is a true 50-50. They can mash against the overhead, but they cannot mash the low. So she has really good pressure, really good dash. This character just goes in. We're not talking about this yet. <laughs> that's, a, that's a whole different beast that we haven't uh, gotten into yet. Um, but yeah, she is a battery with godlike mobility, tiny hurtboxes when she jumps like this. Look how she shifts her hurtbox. Look at that. She can low profile, good footy tools. Like, she, she is incredible. An incredible character. So she has a different mode too. Where she takes off her head. She has two ways to do it. She could do it like this, or she could do it like this. This one right here is invincible, and it is minus two on block. And you can do it off of that, which means here is an example of why this is good. So let's say, for example, she is now mashing jab as her reversal. So this is unsafe on block, but you can do your DP instead, which is minus two on block. This means that if anyone tries to counter poke you or push block you or mix you, you have a hit invincible attack that is safe on block and you can call your assist while doing it, which means some assists can make that plus on block. And you go into one of the most godlike modes in the game, which is when her head is off. Once that is off, if she makes you block or if you're in this position, you are screwed. She can still do her 50-50s. Her air dash becomes a little like slower, but this is still unreactable. That does not change. She can make the head attack. So she can like cover herself. She can do like random special. She can like retreat. 
and have the head attack you. Uh, the block screens are insane. So I'm going to just show you the move she has when this is off. She has a hit grab that will come out once you input it. So let's say for example, so let's say we're in this position, right? That is so, this is absurd. You can block, do an attack, and then their block string becomes your combo. You can also mix after that. It is super good. Uh, it also has a DP. That's invincible. So, like, you can make it do DPs. And again, you can, you can, like, treat it as, like, a different, like, part of her. So, like, she can do specials and still move the head. Which is, like, really, really, really different and very, very unique. Um, she can also kick the head and she can move the head around. No, she can make an attack, she can make a zoom, she can make a bite. If, like, the unique specials, like the, like, this and bite do not work, it goes on to cooldown. That's the cooldown. But, you can hit it to reset the cooldown. So it gets really, really stupid. If you are in the corner, and the head is there, you are screwed. Now, she can jump cancel on your block. Because kicking the head counts as making contact with something. So she can now do shit like this. And the head is being a whole ass soccer ball in this scenario. That is plus 18 on block. Like, what is this on block? Plus 32. She can retreat and make the head attack. And you can go in. Like, you. If you are in this scenario, you are screwed. Alright? And this is on top of all the stuff she can do before this. You are screwed. Okay? So if you are a player that wants to play a character where if you do one move, which is safe on block to do, and you want to absolutely destroy your opponent, and this, by the way, does chip damage too, you play this character. She is a demon. If you are head off, this super does this, and you can use the head to combo off of it. So for example, you can combo off of it like that. If you are head on, and you have your OTG, you can't combo off of it, but that causes a sliding knockdown. Or a hard knockdown, as if you will. So you are getting hit by a super that is putting you on the ground. And now you have to deal with her. Head on or head off, it doesn't matter. You are at her mercy. So pick her if you want to do basically everything. As of right now, her only weaknesses is that her DP is slow, so you can safe jump it. This is unsafe on block, and her level 3 doesn't give her a combo outside of the corner without OTG. But these don't matter. Because when you play her well, she actually just becomes OD. She she is like she's she's a goaded character. Cat girls they rule, man. As for assists and stuff, this is like her only good one that DP assist, and it's not that good. But it is still invincible, so you can still use it. And that is Fortune. So now, Peacock. This character is a demon. She is a demon. She is probably, like, top 5 zoners ever made in fighting games. Okay? The only ones that I can think of that are better is, like, Marvel 3 Morrigan. Like, an old version of Blaze Blue New. And Marvel 2 Cable. But after that, I don't think anyone really matches her. She's insane. So... She has a double jump and an air dash. Her air dash is slow, and she can't block during it, but she can cancel it into attacks. Her back dash is good, so she has really good ways to move around the screen. And she also has normals that help her move around the screen. Jumping hard punch, it's a whole ass shotgun, that propels you backwards. Boom. She has really good projectiles. Sending hard punch is a projectile that you can special cancel. So that George, it walks across the screen. This one zooms across the screen. This one tracks you. 
And she can shoot two of those unique projectiles at a time. So she can have two on the screen at a time. So you can do stuff like this. Cannonball, bomb bomb, cannonball, bomb bomb. And she has another item, which is item drop. This move can track you. The medium one tracks. You can hold it and drop it at any point. You can still call assist while holding it. So, you can either drop it early. So that one has like low hit stun. You can drop it a little late. That one has godlike hit stun. And this one hits overhead for some reason. And you can combo off of it uh, on top of all that. So, zoning patterns are stuff like this. So, cannon, item drop. That keeps them in place. Bomb bomb, item drop. It's just absurd. This zoning pattern right here will destroy any new player. No matter how hard they try, new players will not be able to stop this. I will link you a video on how to combat this in the description, but there is no way to stop that as a beginner player. You just don't know what to do. Uh, as for other tools, her jumping hard kick puts a like projectile on the screen that like basically is the wall. And, on top of it being a wall, she can air dash cancel it. So she can do stuff like this. Cross you up. Create space. Put out two hitboxes in front of her. Back off to throw bombs. And if that's not enough for you, she also has teleports. One of them goes behind you. She can do it off of this projectile. So that can cross you up. One of them she teleports in front of you, and the other one she teleports backwards. The backwards teleport one, you can do off of throwing a single bomb. So she can do stuff like this. I don't want to be close. I want to make space. This is so dumb, but she can do it. And she also has a mix-up. So that is a full screen 50-50, where she has item drop, and then drops it, and then throws the plane. That is an instant cross-up. The timing is a little off the way I'm doing it. But she is the only character in the game that has full screen 50-50s. You can try to avoid it by jumping or moving and hit her, but she never has to actually teleport. She can choose to do this if she wants to. It is super, super good. As for combos, there is no fighting game where the zoner doesn't do a billion damage. She hits you, and you might explode. She is that type of character, especially if she has a lot of meter. So, for example, this is a basic BNB. This is her like. This is a low damage combo. She can loop supers like that. She has this super that costs one bar for some reason. This super is insane. It's a Hoaz bomb. It has health. And your projectiles go through it. And... If it hits the opponent, they explode. Also, if you super through it, it won't explode until the super is done. And you can combo afterwards. I'm not a Peacock player, so I don't have the combos, but... Just believe me, if you want to combo off stuff like that, you can. She can also combo into it. Or she can choose his own. Like, this man right here, that's your homie. You have a bar, you shoot with some bombs, it explodes. You won't build meter when it's out. You'll build meter really slow. But, like, honestly, you just shoot a couple of bombs like that to build some bar, and then you throw it out. And then you shoot them. Uh, she has a hit in vol DP that will wall bounce you. Unsafe, but spaced. Pretty damn safe. In fact, I would say it's just safe if you space it. Goes pretty far. You can throw her, and you can just jump and block it to punish her. But the zoner having a reversal is really, really, really strong. It is OD. And on top of that, she also has an anti-air. 
this is to stop air dashers, like pretty much specifically. This button right here. Notice how it's like removing her hurtbox and just putting a hitbox. You lose so much health for getting anti-aired. It is so good. Uh, this move right here, this gun, is not invincible, but it is throw invincible. That's kind of like the mind game. Like, if she was going to throw, you could do that. But honestly, you just use it for combos. Um, as for her other moves, like, this is low. This is one of the better moves. Because it, like, propels you forward, you can, like, use her slide to kind of schmoo with your projectiles. So I recommend when you play her to like just mess around with stuff like this. Just like mess around with this button moving you backwards, this button moving you forwards. The fact that you can air dash and put things on the screen. You can do advancing DPs. Like that wall bounced her. Like why? She's so so good. Uh, on top of that, she can ground throw you. And do 50-50s like that because her throw causes a hard knockdown. And she can combo off her air throw. You know, I'm not that good at it, but she can. She honestly can do everything. She has like instant overheads. They're not the fastest, but you can do it. And with like things like this behind you to cover you, you can honestly do whatever you want. So she she's like she's a zoner with some of the best mix-ups in the game. Like, what side did I hit on? I don't know. Some of the highest damage in the game, some of the highest meter build in the game because she's doing constant projectiles. Doing specials builds you meter and specials making contact on hit or on hit or block also build you meter. So she is building a ton of meter just by existing. She has a DP, like I said, and an anti air as well. So she has the defensive options to basically, you know, stop everything, you know. Uh, as for level 3, she has one, it's off her throw. It is not good. You will never use this. This super has no purpose except to BM because you can always do this. And this will always do more. But that's like pretty much the basics for Peacock. As for assists, this assist right here is probably like the one most people want to play when they start out. That one is pretty decent too, but the L George assist, like she comes out, she throws it, and then it's basically a walking DP. You just walk behind it, cover you. So yeah, no, Peacock is just like a demonic zoner. That's just what she does. She's just a demon. Okay, so Pain Wheel is a helicopter. She's a whole ass helicopter. The point of this character is the fact that she can fly. She can cancel her flight to change her momentum or to block. And her best buttons are her air buttons. Her ground game isn't that good. She has a slow dash. And even though this button is really big, as you can see, sometimes that doesn't hit. And like, they don't really combo that great. Sometimes like this is all you get in your combo. But if you're close, her combos are good. Like, she gets to do fly cancels in her combos. She's a character you pick if you like to do a lot of quarter circles in your combos. And if you like a character that plays a slow neutral and has like a unique mobility, uh, she's like your go-to. Uh, her like unique mechanic outside of her flight, obviously, is the fact that some of her normals when you charge them have armor. So let's say for example, She can, if timed right, armor attacks and then basically hits you for trying to hit her. Uh, the amount of armor a move has depends on like the strength of the move. So this, like her heavies have more armor than like her light. And she has armor in the air too, but only off this button. Um, so one of the nice things about her is that if the opponent like mashes or you make a read, you can armor their attack and then hit them for it. 
And she is the only character in the game outside of like Fortune who can combo off her sweep naturally. Uh, if you charge her sweep, you get to combo off of it. Uh, and the reason why people get hit by this is because our brains are small. But people do get hit by this. She has a standing overhead when charged. It is really slow, but people mistake it for the low. So those will hit people. And she can always flight cancel these at any point. So the low can actually be canceled early into an overhead. Yeah, and because she can fly any time, she has like really fast like overheads. She can do stuff like that. Like she can like launch you and then like go into flight. That like stops her momentum. So she can basically do whatever she wants. She can fly under you, like stuff like that. Like you you play this character if you are like Okay, I wanna like pilot this character. I wanna like be able to like fly and like pick my positionings. Like if that's like the type of thing you wanna do. Like, she's sick for that. She has a lot of safety. Like, she can, like, poke and then, like, back off if they block it. She can air throw you on this. And something unique to her. So, in this game, if you super jump, you actually cannot call assist. But Pain Wheel, when she goes into flight, can actually call her assist at any point. Even if you super jump. So, she can super jump. Can't call assist. Super jump fly. Now she can call assist. And if you are a defensive player, this is great. Because it means you get to reach... A high point quicker instead of doing like this or this you're just already there you can call your assist let them do the work take your time and you're lit her flight doesn't go higher than this but there's a thing in the game where if the opponent actually tries to jump at you she can actually increase how high she goes so she can actually just like hold up the whole time most people can't catch her but when they come back down, she'll like get pushed down. This is really weird, but it means that like stuff like this is really, really hard to stop. So yeah, she's a character that like flies, cancels her flight for mix-ups, for like mobility, for combos. Like this is a flight combo. Like you're flying here and then you're hitting them. You're flying to mix them, and then like, you're doing armor because you think they're going to attack. And then if they don't, call your assist, you fly, you back off. Like, that is Pain Wheel. She is a whole ass helicopter. Um, as for other specials, like, these are basically just combo tools. They're not safe to do. So like, usually on block, you want to fly to keep yourself safe. Uh, you don't really want to do her like viewers. Uh, she does have a projectile. This one stuns you. So it's like mostly used for combos. But you can do like really weird mixes with it. That's not one of them, but uh, it, it's it's weird. You don't have to worry about it too much. You can think of it as a combo extension in the beginning. Um, and the medium will go straight. Uh, you can charge the medium and heavy one to do that, but it takes forever. You can also flight cancel them once they're out. So you can do stuff like this. So I'm going to go in. It is a little too slow, so you're gonna have to get used to the timing. Cause sometimes you can do this, and that's not great. Uh, but she has it, so that's pretty cool. As for her supers, that is invincible, and it is the only super on counter hit that also gives you more drama, which is undizzy, uh, which means you get to do a slightly longer combo than you would be able to do otherwise. It is the only super that I know of that does that on counter hit. Uh, this super right here is basically just a combo ender, not the best super. This super is really, really good. And her level three is really, really good. It like doesn't really lose to much and you get a full combo off of it. Um, but the greatest thing about her is the Doctor Strange function. I don't even remember the input. This, um, as a DHC is safe. And if you get hit by this, like if she does this, she's like, impact palm. Do not know the combo. But she she can bomb with you. Let me, let me see if I can do it in the corner.
you explode if you get hit by this. And it boosts her super damage too. So if you have a lot of resources, like this install, it makes the nails faster. And it makes her combos just explode you. Also, her armor starts up pretty much instantly when you're in this mode. So like now, like checking people with armor becomes like a real, like legitimately like fast and strong option. Where normally it's like you do it on a read, now you just kind of do it too. So that's also really, really nice. Um, outside of that, there isn't really much else to her. You kind of just have to play her to kind of like get a feel for her. Yo, you'll fly around and you'll understand. Uh, she has like a good pokes too, like this button. Pretty decent poke. But in general, you're just gonna be flying around, you know. Just keep flying around, cruising, you know, chilling. And then all of a sudden, you get really aggressive. Think of her as like. Baby more with two cents. And you'll be okay. Philia is this game's like Marvel 2 Magneto. She doesn't have an eight-way dash. She is a like I guess they called it square dash character. She only air dashes forward, but she has an instant overhead, instant cross up, low throw, like every 50-50 that can exist in the game does exist for this character. So for example, if the CPU or like if your opponent is blocking low. Instant overhead, that is cross up, that is low. Her pokes are plus, so she'll do stuff like poke, overhead, and like her whole game plan is to mix you and to mix you fast. Like, she is a very fast character. If you have fast hands, you want to pick this character. Does a lot of good damage. She primarily, like at this distance, like wants to either dash up low or do like air dash, light punch, light kick into that and then mix you cross up low cross up like that is what this character is all about she is like purely rush down and mix but she also has other tools that kind of like make her crazy like she has a dp for a character like this to have a dp is actually absurd and she gets a combo off of it set up the mix-up game Her like mix-ups get really really cheap if you get really really good. So like here's like something you can do, for example. Like it, it this is mix incarnate. You play her and then like in your head you should be listening to the Magneto theme. Like this is the way. Um her other specials, she becomes Sonic the Hedgehog and she like rolls in the air. She can air dash cancel this. So, like, doing stuff like this is really good. You, like, you throw all your poke, and then, like, you air dash cancel uh, your hairball. That's really, really good. Um, but outside of that, you don't use it in block strings. You kind of just use it to move. She is one of the few characters that can actually reach super jump height and still call assist. As long as you don't super jump, if you just jump normally and do it, once you recover, you can call your assist, which is really, really good. And you can use this to like kind of like traverse the screen like this horizontally. Really good to get through projectiles. She can air dash like that too. Uh, as for her supers, this is invincible. This is invincible and has hit stop on the ground. Uh, so does the other DP super. This is invincible but doesn't have hit stop. And you can combo off of it. So she is a rush down character. That can just DP you at any point, mix you at any point, and then get the party started. You can come out for throws, sets up the mix up game. She resends you for free. Like, resends in this game are pretty prevalent, and she does it really easily. That being said, she's not that complicated to understand, like, she really is just like, you pick her if you want a fast character, and you want to do mix-ups. Like, that is what she's for. Her level 3 kind of sucks. Unless... So... 
on counter hit, this does in 3v3 9,262 damage. That means that if you burst bait somebody, they are going to die. They are not going to survive. You can also combo off of it naturally. So like if you instant overhead someone in the corner, you can like punish them. And if you read someone attacking you, you can also use it to get the quick 9,000 damage, but you can only combo off of it naturally in the corner. So like, let's say for example, Squiggly likes to do that a lot. It does an insane amount of damage. Uh, since it's not too much for her, I guess I could talk about kind of like an advanced thing about her. Um, one of her like greatest perks is that she fast falls. So like, this move, the reason I can do this is because I'm canceling the animation with another button. But because the button can't come out in time, she actually just falls to the ground. And because she falls to the ground, she can move. Because she can move, she can mix. You can do this also for like her instant overhead. So normally, that into that does not combo. Even though I made a combo, that's hard to combo. But, I'll turn on the attack data. So that is plus 10. If I press medium punch after I do it, it is now plus 12. Now, there is a secret ultimate technique where if you cancel this button into air dash before it happens, and then do this, and then press medium punch, it becomes like, it goes from plus 12 to plus 13. And my hands cannot handle this. I am too old. But if you are a player who has fast hands, like, go for it. <laughs> Um, but yeah, that's it. As for assists, you can use her DP assist. It's an invincible assist that'll cover you. Or you can use this assist. That assist is a good lockdown, and it pushes the opponent away on block. So picky the or for now. Sarabella is the grappler of the game. She is absurd. She has probably like the second best crouching like kick in the game, second or best, uh, second or third best. Plus on block, plus on hit. She has command grabs. She's a grappler. This one you can't combo off of, but she has a like ranged command grab that if she grabs you with, she gets a full combo. This command grab is so godlike. She has big buttons. If that hits you, it causes a hard knockdown, and you can go in. This is a good like anti-air button is like not really built for anti-airs but because she leans back and becomes like all hitbox you kind of like if you read an air dash or a jump in you can use this to kind of stop it it's a very good button god like touching like it um her thing outside of like command grabbing you like she's a grappler but you don't really have to use it because she has like ginormous buttons like check out this button this button right here right here it's here look how big this button is let me turn off the attack data you don't have to see that. Look at that! She just has ginormous buttons. This button right here cannot be anti-aired. Like, you can anti-air it, but I wish whoever wants to anti-air this button the best of luck. You're gonna try to anti-air it, get hit by that counter hit, and die. So... The way you play her is you like stick out your big buttons at neutral, like this clap, the jumping medium punch, jumping hard punch, jumping hard kick. And if you are trying to get in, you dash and then you jump, right? Because dashing is too slow and jumping is too slow. But when you dash jump, you cover an insane amount of ground. Combine that with your big buttons, all of a sudden you're close and you do that by accident and you die. Or you can man grab them and they die. Or you go low. Uh, she has a DP. It's not that great. It's like slow, but it can stop jumping sometimes. It could hit normal sometimes. 
It's like a reversal you you just do and you pray. You can combo off of it. Not a great reversal, but it's still a reversal, so it's okay. Uh, she has these moves. Medium and heavy have armor. And they put you in pre-block, so you cannot back this. You have to hold up to jump it, which means she can cancel it into your 360 super, which of course she has. And this is post-flash unjumpable. And you can choose to either let the hit rock or cancel it into DP and do a combo. The combo itself will do more damage than the command grab, and it'll uh, not do as much red health because throws in this game only do red damage. So this is like almost always better to do, especially in a game where you want to do mix-ups and you don't want to like have to try to get in again. Like you want to go in and stay in. So like stuff like that's really good. Her sweep is really good, covers space. Um, as for other specials, she has like an anti-air command grab. This move is ginormous, but in matches it doesn't like feel that way sometimes, but it is. That is just a giant block. That move right there can be blocked, but if they are jumping on the way up, it is unblockable. So for example, even if I set the dummy to block always, see how she blocks it? On the way up, you cannot block it. It's really weird, but that's just how it is. She has a run. This is a charge move. You just hold back and you press forward and kick. Uh, one of the moves she has, that has armor. And the run itself also has armor. So that's unsafe, but it has armor. So if the opponent, like say for example, tries to hit you, like both of them will win. Um, she can also run past you and cross you up. This move is pretty slow if you do it like that. And you can also feint it, so do stuff like that. Um, and then she can cancel her run. And those are her three options. The one thing you need to know about her is that this move itself, that move right there, goes from being really slow to like pretty much like, not even pretty much, like actually unreactable. Like, you don't know how fast it can get. Like, you can't even see it happening. That's how fast it can get. This character, what she wants to do is she wants to abuse the fact that she can cancel uh, her attack. So basically, you want to do that. That's her crushing medium kick. So that's same side. That's cross up. That is her whole game plan. If you hit confirm into this, you are in prime position to do this mix up. And this button right here has a hitbox behind it. So because of that, you can do stuff like that. That's not supposed to happen. Go for cross ups. So this is a character you want to pick. If you like big buttons, you don't care that like your matches are bad because she is slow. So it can actually be hard to hit people who run from you. Um, but once you hit them, like this does so much damage. Like she hits so hard. She can do hard knockdown Oki. She has an instant overhead. That's an instant overhead, which I forgot to mention. So she has low throw overhead. And she could always set up her mix up game. Because no matter what she does, that stagger right there, if you restand somebody and do standing medium punch, you stagger them, you can go for like a mix up. So her whole game plan revolves around being able to to charge and then cancel. Um, so if you're not good with charge characters, like it's worth learning if you're interested. But if you can't do charge character stuff, uh, you should not play this character. You have to be able to charge. Yeah, she's crazy. As for supers, other than 360, she has this one. Mid screen, you don't get anything. There are some assists where you can get stuff, but I won't talk about that here. If you have OTG in the corner, you can combo off of it. And then her level 3 has hyper armor, so you can't break this unless you throw her. And then it hits you, does a billion damage, and you get a full combo off of it.
As a DHC, this DHC is one of the most broken in the game if you can position it to get the combo because it won't scale. It'll unscale a little bit and her combo damage is insane. And that's like basically everything about her. She has one more move. Uh, she has grab bag. This move you basically do on people's incomings. You can tech this move, but the tech window is small. So people have trouble teching it and you can also set up into it. It does so much damage and builds you so much meter. But you can't combo off of it. It's like a you just do it if you're okay with like going back to neutral or if you want to like mix them and it'll kill, then it's really really good. Stuff like that. Or if you do it under incoming. But uh yeah, that's Cerebella. As for assists. That assist is godlike. I'm just going to show you the hitbox. As you can see, it's multi-hit, so it's locked down. But just just look at the hitbox, and I don't even have to say anymore. Just, let's, just, let's just look at it. Enough said. Okay, so Valentine... This character, you play this character if you like playing defensive, but you also like mobility. She is a very slow paced character, but she has really good mobility. Her back dash puts her airborne so it can low crush and she can air dash cancel her back dash like that. Which means she can do instant overheads, cross ups, you know, different uh, air dash heights. Um, if you've like played Eno, her dash is kind of like Eno's, but she doesn't go down until she pushes the button. I think Eno's does that, I'm not sure. That's the type of character she is. Um, what makes her good is like, she's one of the few characters that can actually abuse super jump. Because when she super jumps, that's hard to stop. That button's hard to get through. She can double jump and then still air dash at any point. She can cancel her like air dash button into a dead cross and come down with another button. So she has a lot of ways to like mess her for mobility and movement. Um, the only thing about her mobility is that when she does the air back dash, she actually cannot attack until the air back dash ends, or you cancel it into an air dash. But you can only do that on the ground. You can, however, special cancel it. So that is something to keep in mind. But you can't like back dash and then push the button like the other air dash characters can. Um, she has projectiles. This is kind of just like to control again, like the the pace of the match. That one goes slow. That one goes fast. You know, Valentine's will double jump and do this. If the Valentine player is cracked, that combos. And honestly, like if a Valentine player does that, they're cracked. Like they're they're actually just ascended Valentine players. You do not do not mess with them. Um, she can also like that's an easier hit confirm. Do it into super. Uh, so she can do stuff like that. So if you got stuff like that, then you can play her. Um, but it's like mostly just a control space. Uh, she has a move called Bypass. The air version like pops them up every single time you hit them. So... Her combos will look like that. The light one goes like a set distance. Um, but they're all unsafe. And they all stop once they go past the point. The heavy one will like go full screen. So Vantime players like usually when they do this, they'll like cancel it to super like that to get in. But it's like a very risky move to do. You have to be really careful when you use it. Usually Vantime players will like do it with an assist. So like for example, stuff like that, or like this. Um, that stuff is really good. Uh, she has really good footsie tools, so her jab's pretty good. Her crouching light kick is pretty bad, and this is like a good poke too. Her poke throw game is really good. Because her throw like basically lets you do any combo you want. And if you want, you can always put them in a hard knockdown like this. As long as you have OTG that hards knockdowns, right? So this is a good footsie button. You can special cancel like that. You can call assist like this. So like... You pick her if you want to move and you want to play footsies with your buttons and she's really weird and she has one eye, but it's okay. This button means back. So, 
if you are cracked again, you you honestly have to be like, like I don't know. You, you have to be kind of nice to play this character. That low crushes. That is. Ugh. When this happens to me, just because she leans back a little bit like this, and you can even do it to do stuff like this. Like I'm gonna lean back and throw a projectile now. Call my assist. Like it's it's so good for that. Um, but what makes her like, what pushes her above like the other characters? Cause like honestly, all this stuff is really good. But what makes her great is these vial loads. So this one does poison damage. That one is hit stun and block stun. And if you have it at level two or higher, it goes up to level three the most. You also get to do even longer combos because it adds a dizzy to your route. And then this one is so dumb. This one adds input delay. If it's at level 3, it adds 9 frames of input delay. If it's at level 1, it adds 4 frames of input delay. Basically, this character can make you play Vanilla Street Fighter V whenever she wants by doing that. It is so dumb. So, Valentine players have two options. They can pick an assist that lets her get the vials. Or she can do hard knockdown, load a vial, mix you, use the vial, load another vial, like that. Put you on Wi-Fi. Now I can't block the mix-up because I'm on Wi-Fi. And that's when she gets really nasty. So she she's cracked. Uh, as per supers, this is invincible. This is a good like super to punish assists and to kind of like cover this, but it's not safe. So you you take a risk doing it when you do it off a bypass like that. But to punish assists, it's like pretty decent. You know you can chunk the assist. Um, this super just a combo ender. It switches sides. This super just a combo ender. Not amazing. You can watch the cutscene. It does give you one poison load. You just have to hold what button you want for the poison load. So that's pretty good. Uh, but it's like, you don't get anything off of it. You can't combo off of it and it like ruins your positioning. So it's just mostly a combo ender. Um, her level 2. You only need one poison to do it. But her level 2 is pretty cracked. If someone does a physical attack. This move is so invincible. It's a hentai move. So everyone close your eyes. You are invincible up until like you're active. I really didn't have to make it this slow. That is like plus a billion on block if the point blocks it. The hitbox is huge, like it's gonna hit her from there. And like if the if the match is if you're ever playing a match and you have this load and you have two bars and they call assist, like smoke the assist, dude. Smoke the assist. That is so much damage. And that does the max poison too. If you don't have the vial, uh, level two will do this. It will like freeze the thing it hit. Another thing about that super is you can DHC into it, but you have to have the vial loaded prior. You only get level 1 off the DHCs, but this gives her a combo DHC that does mad damage. And, in the corner, <laughs> you can DHC into it, load a vial, and then combo. That, I think, is really cool. You're just like, hmm, uh, I think I want another one. And poison again. Oh yeah, and it's like Liam said, this like counter venom super is also hella plus on block two. So if the point blocks but the assist gets hit, you could do whatever you want. It's actually just insane. But um that's like basically all there is to Valentine. Like she's a character that like schmooze around, she supers a lot, those projectiles a lot. 
tries to get this, like, all of these are broken. Either extends your combos, poisons you, or puts you on Wi-Fi. That's 9 frames of input delay if that level 3 hits you. And level 2 is broken too. That's like 7, like 6 or 7 frames of input delay. Imagine trying to block instant overheads when you have 7 frames of input delay. It's just not happening. As for assists, she doesn't really have any. Like that's a 2 hitting low. It's pretty good if you have like a move like this. You do a jump in and then you do a low. Uh, but the only other assist is her bypass assist. This assist right here. It's like decent. Uh, it's good for combo extensions. But... Uh, that is like one of her weaknesses. She's like not really a good assist character. There's a lot more about this character that I didn't even talk about. Like this button is godlike. This button makes no sense. Her knees make no sense. But we gotta move on. You got the gist of it. She's just a ninja. She's a ninja nurse. Okay, so Parasol is a charge character. She has a flash kick and she has fireballs. These are like I'm not going to call them Sonic Booms because they're more than Sonic Booms, but you shoot them like Sonic Booms. She can zone you. She can shoot one that bounces off the ground like that. She can detonate them herself. This is a flash kick, like I said earlier. This move restands them, or like doesn't really restand them, but like kind of like keeps them like there. Um, it hits low, uh, which is really important. I'll, tell you, I'll talk about it later. She can throw tears on the stage. So light, medium, heavy. Uh, but the unique thing about these is that if you hold the button and release it, you can actually position them in different spots. So you can like put down these projectiles where you need it and detonate them yourself. You can hit confirm them into super. You can do the same thing with sonic booms. You can shoot them and detonate them. So she has a lot of like control on the screen, a lot of mid-range control. Uh, big buttons. Mostly her jab. This move on block is dog, and this move on hit is dog. So you usually cancel it into stuff like that, which is really good. Uh, this is an amazing button, especially when like a tear is on the ground. Um, every normal that has flames on it will detonate the tears. So for example, that will detonate the tear, this will detonate the tear. And that changes the frame advantage of the moves, whether it be for combo. So normally, like... This doesn't combo, but that'll combo because you blow up the tier with it. Um, so it's like really good for like one controlling space, two getting like different like frame advantage, different combos. You can even fly. Observe. She she's like really good at like the mid-range and really good at like the zoning game but she doesn't have an air dash and she only has a ground dash that being said her ground dash goes so far she is one of the few characters if not the only character that can use back dashes defensively back dashes in this game don't have invincibility and they're not fast and they don't go far but hers does you can even keep your charge while back dashing so you can do like back dash fireball back dash back dash fireball Because she doesn't have like air dashes and stuff, they gave her a standing overhead that is, I believe, 20 frames? Yeah, 20 frames. She has a standing overhead. She has another standing overhead, which is 22 frames. She has two lows. So she can do stuff like overhead, overhead. It doesn't combo, but it like kind of like tricks people because it can do overhead low. She has a standing low. So blocking her can get tricky, so she can do stuff like people get hit by that because they think it's going to be this. So she has built-in mix. She can throw you. Her throw range is kind of bad, but her dash throw is good. And normally you do back throws so you can get this, drag him to the corner. That move is her heavy egret. It is her kick charge. Uh, that move will drag them. You can, the opponent can break it. But you can combo into it, get the corner, and then set up shop and do crazy stuff like that. Um, the medium one is a like shield. This one like will tank projectiles. So like if projectiles are hitting that man, he'll like shield her. And like he'll take like one physical hit, but it's like not that good. 
And then the light one is like a Roman cancel, so you could do stuff like... So normally coming off of this, you do it like that, but you could do stuff like this. And save OTG. So in her BNB, you'll see that. So she doesn't use up her OTG. So that's really, really good. As for her supers, this super is really slow. But after it happens, uh, the opponent can't avoid it. It's like weird. Even if they try to DP through it, they can't. The opponent tries to DP through the super. The sniper actually will wait for the invincibility to end and then shoot them. Um, if it hits them in the air, you can't really combo off of it. But if it hits them on the ground, you can combo off of it. That's why stuff like this is really good. Like, oh. And like, Rust like this. You can also just choose to keep it for like the Oki. Because it is a hard knockdown, you can just be like, and I'm gonna go overhead. So that's pretty cool. Uh, the other Super Shaz. This is her combo ender. It does mad damage. It is a little invincible. Um, not safe on block, but space is pretty safe. Really hard to punish, especially if it's spaced. Um, and then her level 3 is this. But you can Roman cancel it. So, like, if you're playing the game, you're just like, damn, I want to go in. This normal is ginormous. If it hits the opponent standing, easy combo. But if you hit that normal raw versus someone who's jumping, they can actually tech the floor. So by itself, it's not that good. Um, you'll see Parasol players do light punch like this to combo off of it. Because if you do a normal before it, like if you chain into it, you can combo off of it. But by itself, you can't. But this was, like, it's still a really good button. Because even if it hits like that, like, if it hits someone standing, you have 10 years to convert off of it. You can do things like this. To mess with them. You can do stuff like that. Things like that. Her jumping medium kick is the only button that I know of that you can kind of, like go back to a lighter button, you can reverse speed her jumping medium kick. So you can do stuff like this. Things like that is really good. Really good for mix-ups and really good for uh, just like keeping your block strings like ambiguous, right? So that's really, really good. I need to stop jumping. Her air throw. So it looks big, but like in practice, like that move, like, it feels way bigger than it actually is. I'm saying, like, she'll she'll grab you, like, right off the ground type stuff. Like, observe. Like, she's so good. If she, if she reads you jumping, she can dash jump and air throw you. Mix you off of that. And she can throw you so low to the ground. Like, it's... I'm saying, like, she's in the dirt. Like, she can throw you. Like, it, it gets really low. So her air throw is godlike. You want to air throw a lot with this character. Uh, jumping hard kick is really good with assist. You can do stuff like that. You can super jump with it. You can throw a tier to shift her momentum. Like, even though she doesn't have, like, unique mobility options, she has unique mobility options. She's, like, one of those. Like, she can float. One of the few characters that can do that. She can stop her momentum. She's like... She's sick. She's absolutely sick. Last thing before I move from Parasol. Uh, she has chun -Li's Stomp. This is the fastest rising overhead in the game. But she can't combo it by herself naturally. So... If you have the right assist... You can have access to the best... like Not the best, but like the fastest overhead in the game. Or one of the fastest overheads in the game. Like that. And as you like get better with her, there are setups like this. That let you combo it <laughs> naturally. 
That, my friends, is what Parasol is about. She's about putting the tears out and then like using them later, whether it be in combos, early or late, whether it be to change her advantage, whether it to be doing mix-ups. It's like that's going to explode and take them out of the corner so I'm going to mix them. Or I'm going to time this just right so that it explodes when my overhead hits and I'm going to go for the mix-up. Like, or I'm going to shoot the tear and then block and let it cover me. Like that is what Parasol is about. She is about zoning, spacing you out, doing setups, being really cool. She's sick. As for assists, flash kick assist, it's an invincible DP assist. It's very good. So if someone's like on your ass, you're like, get off me. Um, or you can use her napalm shot assist. So this assist, light or heavy. This assist is really good because it's an advancing projectile that on block or hit will put a projectile that can cover you later. So you pick DP if you want a defensive assist, or you pick this if you want an offensive and defensive assist. That's not invincible. They're both really good. Double is the character that I recommend every new player to start out with. Just because she's easy, uh, her, her BNB is like legit. Just this one loop. Once you learn this combo, you can legit go into quick match and hit people with it. It is so good. Um, she has a double jump and she has Parasol's dash, but her back dash is like nowhere near as good as Parasol. It's actually pretty bad. And she's really big, so she can get like oppressed really hard. But she has basically every tool to stop it. Uh, her main tools is like this fireball. So her neutral is just like she shoot the gun, that controls space, it stops air dashing, and you can combo off of it if someone gets hit while jumping. So like for example, like if someone air dashes you or gets hit out of the air, she can combo it. Uh, this button, she leans back, so this is her heavy gun. She'll lean back and then shoot the ground. So this stops air dashes too, and it also stops people from poking her. Um, it kind of looks like this. Let me see if I can get it to happen. Well, actually, I could just like show like an easy example. And the first time you shoot it, it like bounces them up. So this is the easiest combo. You can like shoot it and be like, oh, it hit. You know what I mean? The medium gun, she shoots down to the ground. This one is mostly to end block strings. That's like relatively safe. Because this gun can be crouched sometimes, but this one cannot. Um, so those are like the two uses for the guns. This character is a lot about like shooting the gun. Her hard kick is the same as Peacock. She puts out the bird. She can't air dash cancel it or double jump cancel it. But she can just like do that. As you can see, that's like a wall. So that's really, really good. Um, and then as for her grounded buttons, like she, she has incredible buttons. Her crouching light kick. It's plus on block, so she can do like... Low throw is like the name of her game, if she's by herself. Her dash up throw is godlike, her throw is godlike in general, you get a combo off of it. And that enables like her 50-50s, her like 50-50s are mostly left rights. Uh, what I did there is like basically the idea behind her mix-up. Uh, so she's like really good at the poke throw. Uh, if you get hit by the, <laughs> the low... Like, you can't, like, one button hit confirm it, but you can delay your strings. And get, like, a good hit confirm into a reset game. Um, but if she has an assist, one of the nice things about her is that she can do stuff like this. She can, at any point, like, teleport behind you like that. And do a cross mix up on you. So let me turn off hitboxes so you can see it. That is so dumb. She goes stuff like this. He's like, oh man. And then that sets up her mix-up game. She can air throw you. Her air throw is really, really good. And then she can also do things like this because she has a special that like goes behind you. She could do things like this. So I just set them to block always for this one. So you could do like... 
and then that'll cross up. Right? You make them block, have the assist keep them in place, set that up, and then do a left right mix up. So she by herself is only low throw unless the opponent respects you enough to let them do that. Uh, but for assist, she becomes a left right character, and on a hit, she's a left right character. So that's basically like her entire game plan. It's like somehow land the hit, whether it be by herself or for the assist, whether it be low throw or cross up, and then do a bunch of mix up, same sides or cross up. It doesn't really matter what you choose. Um, as for like her other specials, like that's overhead. You kind of like do it to mess with them. Like you do like a jump in, and then like you'll cancel it to another overhead. It's like okay, cancel into that to be safe. And then combo. This super costs one bar. It says on the screen, and it is a hit grab. So if someone touches it, they get eaten. But, the opponent can deactivate it if they're good. So like for example, the opponent can be like... So you gotta be careful still. But putting down that super, and then just like shooting at the opponent, like they'll do stuff like this. And that is like really hard to stop. Uh, and that costs one bar. Um, the other super she has, it's invincible and only loses to counters. That's her combo ender. It does damage. Um, it's not a mix-up. So she comes out of the side the smoke is on. You get to choose, but there's no 50-50 here. So new players, like, don't get hit by this. Just look at the smoke. And uh, you'll see where she's coming from. Um, this button for jump-ins is really good. But doing double jump into it is risky because you might get anti-aired. Um, this button, jumping light punch, like jumping over someone and doing light punch crosses up is really, really, really good. Um, jumping hard kick again for controlling space. Jumping medium punch, really good multi-hit. Jumping medium kick, really good air-to-air. -air. Like all her buttons are freaking incredible. It, it just, it's hard to believe how incredible they are. And jumping hard punch, like drags you down so you get a free combo. Of any hit, it's just she's nasty. Uh, her crouching hard punch, a really good footsie tool. It's like both anti air and hit confirm. Like that's the type of button it is. So like Beowulf, it might be kind of hard to do this, but I'll try it. So like, like as you can see, you try to anti air that, or like normally you get hit, but. Because her hurtbox changes, like her hurtbox drops and it becomes all hitbox, it's a really good anti-air button. You can hit confirm it, and it goes mad far. Defensively, she's really big, so she gets like fuzzied a lot, and her like reversal is unsafe, but that is invincible, and you can combo off of it. And this is also invincible, but you can't combo off of it. Um, this super can't really be stopped or anything. So if you have a safe DHC behind you, like this one, uh, like you just, if you're in danger, you just do it. You just get her out. And you let the other character handle it. Um, this is a uh, slide, it hits low and it breaks armor. So like if you read someone doing armor, you can break it like that. But it's very unsafe on block. And then this is unsafe as well. Um, and that's like really it. Uh, her level three combo ender does a billion damage. And then like probably the other best thing about her is this move. It costs two bars. Like the button you push like dictates whether it goes like forward, up or down. Uh, but you just want to match grab. And then like when you're in like they block it and you're just like random cross up and then once it hits you like go for the hit and then you go for the mix up it is legit just saying like I don't want to play neutral anymore you can do stuff like this and heads are so active that that super is broken it costs two bars but it's broken and you can DHC into it but on DHC it only lasts like three seconds instead of like the million years that lasts otherwise um, 
So it's not as broken. It's kind of balanced around that. Uh, but she's she's a good character. She has like some of the best assists in the game. So like for example, like that assist has got like it just does so much damage, controls so much space. Highly recommend for new players to play this assist. And then she has like a DP assist. You can do light horner bomber. It's invincible. And then she has like the low crush assist, which is a slide assist. So she has like that as an assist. It's invincible or this, which is like it can get pretty crazy, but. I won't show all the applications right now. So she adds a lot to a team. She has really good assists, a safe DHC because that's safe. This is also safe as a DHC. High damage on DHCs, and then like if she hits you herself, she like she explodes you. And her mix-up is like some of the best in the game, some of the easiest in the game, easiest like hit confirms. She can do hard hit confirms. She can control so much space. She she's incredible, incredible character. Does not have a level 5, unfortunately. I don't know too much about the new Fukua, but I can tell you some of her strengths. So, one of the main strengths she has is this jumping light punch. This button is so big, it's actually OD. Look at this. She's like, boy. So, because it's so big, and she has this like dive kick that on block and on hit goes down like this, you're like, uh. And that, like, as an air to air beats like everything because it's disjointed it just smokes you then she gets her combo game started really good her dive kick is like insane she's one of the few characters that can get to the ground before the opponent does when they block it and she can cancel it to an overhead follow-up so like she's pretty crazy in terms of like those specific block strings so let's set the CPU to jump. So like she gets to the ground before them. She has fireballs. So, so she has like air fireballs like that. She has a double jump, but no air dash. So she can like jump like this and then throw a light fireball in front of her and that fireball will cover like her landing. You can get punished for it, but it's still really, really good. Uh, this one will go horizontal like that, and this one is like more horizontal, it goes far like that. So that's really, really good. She can also throw a light fireball and run behind it. Like that. The thing about fireballs though, so if you notice when she throws it, the orb kind of comes back to her. If the orb is not back, she cannot throw another fireball until it comes back. So the counterplay to stuff like this is like people will jump over it. And if the opponent jumps over it, you can't throw a fireball to protect yourself, so they just kind of rush you down. Thankfully, she has buttons that kind of stop that. So this button right here, her crouching medium punch. Look at her hurtbox. She like goes low and then leans back, and it's all hitbox in front of her. So if someone's trying to do a jump in on you, like an air dash, like that is one of the best anti-air buttons in the game. So for example... I wonder if it'll even beat this one. That's really, really good. Um, this one is like similar to doubles too. Um, not as good hit confirms um, from the grounded hits, except for that. But you can also anti-air people with that too. So she has two good anti-air buttons and one godlike air to air button. So like in terms of like stopping people from approaching you, um, at like the fundamental level, she has like those strong options, right? Standing medium kick is advancing, doesn't go that far, but pretty decent. And fireball to end block strings. Nothing too serious. Um, what makes her unique is the ability to summon shadows. So that hits low, that's a hit grab, and that hits overhead. But that in itself isn't that great, but she can hold them. At the exchange of some health, she can hold the shadows and do stuff like that. So like, combos will do things like this. Oh my god, hold on. You can use shadows to extend your combos in ways you couldn't otherwise. Like normally you can't combo off that drill. But if you hold the shadow in the right spot, you can combo off of it. Um, it also helps for mix-ups. So like, that'll set up. Cross up fireball plus low. Or you can do stuff like this. Low overhead. Like that's what she does. Um, the only weakness of hers, really, in terms of that, is like if they take the shadow hit, your combo scales, and she doesn't hit that hard anyways. Like, she's a pretty low damage character. 
So you have to like get used to her execution to really play her. And um, you have to be right more times than other characters to play her. So most characters can two touch you. She's probably gonna like four touch you. Um, but you play her because like you believe in like the the setups, the mix-ups, and you believe in the ability to like air to air people. She has the best happy birthday potential in the game. So like for example, let's say that I'm chilling, I call my assist, and she's like this. He's like oh. And then the character's dead. All because I decided to do one random hard kick. So like things like that kind of like help her out. But in terms of like making comebacks, because her mechanic takes health, you want to pick an assist that will either give you the ability to set up these shadows easily, like a lockdown assist, or an assist like Heavy Brass that will do a lot of damage. Um, her air throw causes a sliding knockdown. You can like set up better in the corner than anywhere else. Because in the corner you can be like... You know what I mean? Um, her normal throw, you can only combo with super. Unless you're in the corner, then you can just combo off it naturally. Overall not amazing. Has a command grab, it goes pretty far. Actually it goes really far. But you can only combo with it uh, off of it with super. Again, it's mostly just to get the party started. I have no idea why she dashed, but she did. Um, and then she has this command grab. It is a very slow command grab, but you can combo off of it. And it has like a billion hits of armor. So for example, you can smoke somebody just pushing buttons. This is really good if you read someone like someone's offense or if, like someone push blocks you and you think they're going to mash. You can throw this early to kind of like armor their attack and grab them and then get a combo. You don't get the most damage. But it's like definitely worth going for on reads like that. Um, her other special is drill. This one is mostly for the mix up. You kind of like go under them and then hit them with the drill plus assist. Medium drill, worthless. Heavy drill, hit invincible but slow. And you get nothing off of it except this fireball super. Unless you're in the corner and then you get the fireball super and then a combo. So defensively she's not that great because that doesn't have... Uh, well it does have invincibility but it doesn't have hit stop. So using it as a reversal is hard, and this one is slow. The opponent can like attack and then block in time. So like for example, that happens a lot. Um, so on defense, more often than not, you're going to do stuff like this. So like let's say for example, like so like that's like a, a basic tiger pressure, right? She's going to, she's going to do this. <laughs> that is her reversal. She's going to be like, eh, I don't feel like blocking anymore. I'm going to do jumping hard kick on the way up. If you ever played MKX, it's like Quan Chi's like jumping J2 or something. And that is a heavy counter hit. So you get like the, like the heaviest combo possible. So that's really, really, really good. Um, but yeah, she is at neutral. She's like a zoning character. You play very slow. You cover yourself with the fireball. Uh, she has anti airs, and then like you can throw these out at neutral and randomly get hits. Be like, oh. And then when you land a hit, you want to use shadows for mix-ups, or you want to use them for damage. Um, you don't want to do combos like this. But if you want to like do these combos to like learn the game with, it's okay. But if you want to main her, you have to do combos like this. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. Yeah, like things like that. Things that are like use the shadow to let you do specials that do way more damage. So like in the corner, it's easier to show. So you'd be like... Like all of a sudden she's doing actually like pretty decent damage. But if you do like a basic BNB like this, uh, you'll get like some of the lowest damage in the game. So it's she's hard. Um, but she's not impossible. She's definitely one of the more difficult characters in the game to play. Um, assist wise, she has three options. She has this. As an assist, it's only lockdown, it's not invincible. 
She has this fireball, which controls space, as you can see. Like, as an assist, how this would be OD. You can just have it, like, cover, cover you. And then she has this shadow, which goes through projectiles, and it grabs you. And it launches you, too. So, like, anyone using that assist can, like, set up for, like, really, really dumb mix-ups. That's basically Fakua. Beowulf is like if you took a character from Final Fight or Streets of Rage or any beat em up game and you put him in a fighting game, you would get Beowulf. Now, you get that character and you combine them with Sasquatch and John Tao Bane from Vampire Savior and you combine it with that character and it becomes Beowulf. He is OD. So, when he grabs you, he goes into like the stance. He doesn't throw you, right? You do kicks, which do damage, or headbutts. Which build meter. The headbutt ender mid screen also lets you combo, where otherwise it like launches you. He has three enders the dive, which he can roll after, so he can tech chase you with this. He has this one, which just does damage. He has this one, he just throws you. And then he has this one, which is a knockdown. And then he has this one, where he just kicks the hell out of you. Um, by themselves, they're, like, not that great. Like, this one is pretty cool for the second chase. You can, like, go for a mix-up. And this one, you can go for the knockdown. And, like, you can try to, like, throw them again because you're still in throw range. Or you can go for the low. But it's not too great. Like, it's good, but it's not great. When it gets great is when he gets something like that. He gets a level of hype. So the way this character works is he has multiple ways to build this mechanic called hype. Which is those three things that appear on the screen. So one, two, three hype. He can do it by holding light punch at neutral, by dropping mics, by doing this, switch in music and restands you. If it staggers you, that counts as one. So for example, see how he built the hype? So he can build it in parts. So like now, I have a hype. What the hype does is it boosts his special moves. So, for example, his throw enders. When he has hype, now he can do EX dive. And now he goes back to the stance. Okay? And all the hypes do that. Um, well, not all of them. So, like, this one and this one put him back in stance. You can only do them once, but it means you can do stuff like this. And then this one causes that bounce. So you can combo off of it. And then this one is a true hard knockdown, which means you are plus a billion, which means you could do midi overhead. Midi low. That's an OS, by the way, because this is a DP. You can do throw again. You can go cross up. Um, it's OD. So this is a very reset heavy game, but Beowulf is actually one of the characters that actually doesn't really do resets like he does but he also benefits from oki way more than everyone else because oki is absurd um another special he has is called wolf blitzer if you ever seen john tao bane uh from vampire saver it's the same thing if you have hype for every level of hype you can extend it by one so you can do stuff like this And then get like a bombo, right? Um, I forgot to mention another way to build hype. His taunt builds three automatically, and it does so much. Um, well, it's like it doesn't do so much. It's just fast. So like his game plan would be like usually just like land a hit, try to build hype. Usually with taunt, or you like call assist to control the neutral like that, or like this. Like, things like that is how he builds hype. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention this ender. When you have EX, you can super afterwards. Um, you can also snap afterwards. This is good, like, if you grab your opponent and their assist. So there, he has like a weird mechanic that doesn't come up except in this specific scenario. It's very weird. So, if he grabs you during that mode, you can actually hit the assist.
Like that, right? But you, you can't combo the assist. Right, that, that's all the assist gets hit by. So it's like, it's kind of worthless, except when you do this. And then you do this. Then we're talking. Then the assist dies. This is the only time this is useful. Otherwise, you just use this to like, do this. And then do this. Uh, well, you do super. But you know what I mean. Imagine if I could do super inputs. And you do super there. Um, another thing I didn't mention about this is that he can move around while doing it. So like you can position yourself, but if you take too long, he'll throw you automatically. So you have to like kind of get used to it. Really good for positioning, especially for that combo ender that I did earlier with the EX kicks. Um, really, really important. He can, from the ground, do three. And then go basically any direction, and the air only do two. And it's like minus on block, but it's safe. However, when you do this retreating, he actually slows down. See how kind of like how fast he goes when he does it? Now when he does it retreating, he like slows down, he can be punished. Um, so you want to like make sure you have hype in case you need to like escape or not get punished. Um, but he's, he's crazy. He can like whiff cancel his normals into this, get a full combo, not do it. Just do it for mobility, escape with it, go up, go back. Like, this move is insane, especially when he can do more. It's really, really good. Um, as for, like, his, like, movement, he only has a normal jump and a hop dash. So his movement kind of sucks. He, like, really abuses this for movement and, like, really big buttons like that. Um, but even though his movement's not the best, if he is close to you, he has the easiest 50-50 in the entire game. It is easy. You dash... And you press a button, and that is overhead. Or, you go low, or you throw. It is the freest 50-50 in the game. The only thing about it you need to know is that you can't do two dash overheads in a row. The game will lock you out for a little bit. So, to mitigate this, you can do overhead, button, overhead again. Low. Button. If you think they're going to block it. But you have enough time, like this is hit confirmable. You can see them get hit by it. And you can tick throw and like tick overhead with pokes. But you cannot do hop dash overhead, immediate hop dash overhead. You have to wait. See how I get sending light kick when I try to do it again? But if I wait a little bit, I get it. Um, that is to make sure that he doesn't just do that five times in a row and smokes you. Um, but generally, the way you want to play him, you want to like space with this button. You want to get close enough to do 50-50s. Um, the other specialist he has is Light Chair Toss. You get a restand. He can pick up the chair after it unglows. Like that. But not any time before, unless he has 3 hype. He, he has so much, so... He has 3 hype, he can do that. But otherwise, he has to wait. Restand. Pick up the chair. 50-50. This one... Overhead on the way down. Hits twice as well. And it like restands you. So like for example, let's say for example, it leaves you standing, you smoke them, and then the heavy one, very slow but it's invincible and this is plot on block. So let's set them to block. It is plus one on block. However, when you don't have the chair, you don't have access to any of your chair attacks. You don't have access to this, to this, to this, to this. Instead, you get a hit grab. This move, kind of doggy, but it is a hit grab, so it'll break armor. This move, pretty good. You can do a retreating. So, for example... If someone like is like oh like if you think they're gonna like go into your space, the hitbox will stay active the whole time. You'd be like, uh, I think, I think I'll just put this out there, and it's like, oh. And if you have hype, you can do a combo. Um, he also gets like his crouching heart punch becomes his armored launcher, 
But it only has like one or two hits of armor, I don't remember. And then he gets like the sweep. This sweep does so much damage if it hits you. And he can tech roll afterwards. But neither of these are really safe. Um, but they do good damage. He can tech roll. Um, this move actually has a really, really annoying mind game. Which is... He can super cancel it at any point. So even though it's unsafe, it's minus 31. If they try to poke you, you can super. So I'll set the dummy to reversal jab. Punishes you, right? So that's what makes this move bearable. Um, the other thing that you can do is if you have hype, um, normally you can't like do anything. Like you can't super cancel. Well, you can super cancel, but you can't special cancel. You can cancel them to chair pickup. So if you're like in a scenario where you're next to them, like here, and you're just like, hmm, I want to check them with armor. You can do that, and that is really, really, really good. So his whole game plan is like big buttons, grabs you, plays a beat 'em up game, hard knockdown Oki. High low mix up, um, like building the mechanic itself, like building the high mechanic in the middle of a match to use for later, and just all around just being really annoying with like everything, man. He he's a, in my opinion, probably the second best beginner character because his game plan is very very simple. Um, his weaknesses is like he's thick. His assists aren't the best, um, because like this chair, even as an assist has cooldown, it has that same cooldown as an assist. So it's invincible, and then you can't call it until it comes back. So that's really annoying. But even though he's like really thick, and like he has one reversal um, that's safe, which is like better than most characters, honestly. Um, defensively, if he's wrong, he'll die instantly. And because he's so wide, he gets a hit by pretty vicious mix-ups. But honestly, it's worth it because sometimes you'll have three hype and then like you grab them you're just like, wow. And then you smoke him. So he he's amazing. Robo Fortune is the other zoner in the game. I mean, I guess you can count Parasol as a zoner, but she's like the other dedicated zoner. Uh, her jumping hard punch is good for controlling space, and she has beams, so she has a low beam. It doesn't hit low, it just goes low. Has like the mid beam, can be crouched under, unless you're Big Band and Eliza, which is really funny. And then the heavy beam, same thing. So, she can do Tiger Knee beams like this. She can do down angled beams. She has two jumps. Her dash has a weird startup. But once she starts running, she is the fastest in the game. And she has the other good backdash in the game too. Uh, that's not parasols. So she's the best grounded dash once it starts up. It's just really weird. Uh, good mobility. Her jumping hard kick can be used to like fly around the screen like this. So you can get to like the top of the screen. And also because that counts as not super jumping, you can call assist. Like that. She's the only character in the game that can jump cancel on block except for head off fortune. So she can jump cancel like that. You can do stuff like this. That's really good. You can do a uh, uh, uh. Or like. Um, she has a dust. So that's like guilty gear dust. You can react to it. Pretty safe as spaced. Hits overhead. You can convert it like this. Or if you have a head, which you can summon, you can summon three heads. And they let you do a, like a number of things. You go like, uh, you can do that one time. And get some cool combos like that. Uh, the other moves she gets with head, one of them, projectile goes forward. This is good for stopping people's approaches. So she can go like this. And then she covers like the straight line, like that, right? Uh, the other one she has. She puts on a mine. That will break armor. And it'll also like basically control that space. So like if you're fighting armor assist characters, 
Like, that's really good. But the other thing it's good for is like, it's weird. If you summon it right before she gets hit, uh, it can like basically cover, cover you. So it's just like, like that'll happen. And you get a combo. Which is really good because defensively she doesn't have any defensive options except for this versus jump ins. And this has one hit of armor. But she doesn't have like a reversal super or a DP. So you have to basically like use them preemptively. Like if like, oh, I, I might get hit here. I'm going to do this move to stop them. The other thing you can do is hidden missiles. That is 12 times. Uh, if you taunt, so Harpoon Slide Kick. It doubles the missiles. You don't see this too much, but you can do it. Missiles are good because they cover space, they track. So if you summon missiles somehow, you can to like shoot. And then while that's going on, get some more heads, control space. So like she likes to like shoot beams and chip you out. And then if she lands a hit, she doesn't do like high damage. But when she ends her combo into super, the super itself does a ton of damage. And that super goes from level 1 to level 2 to level 3. Well, not to level 2. 1 to 3 to 5. And they get progressively stronger. Level 5 is absurd. If she ever hits two characters and has level 3, no, no matter what. If she ever hits two characters, like, they're getting deleted. So, like, an example would be... That is an awful combo, and the assist... Basically, the assist dies. It dies. It does not survive. If you do a combo that's not doggy like that one. <laughs> um, another thing to know about the super is that it has slow startup, but once this flash happens, it is close flash unblockable. So if you were not blocking before that flash, you're getting hit. This combines with, like, missiles is really good. So, like, robo players will, like, do this into this... Like, they'll shoot a beam and do that, because most people, they get hit by beam, they try to dash forward, and they block a beam, they try to move forward. And then, like, they'll do that, just to check you, be like, hmm, did you do anything? You did, you got hit. Or they'll do things like missiles. And then the missiles will cover the beam. So, that's really, really good. Um, but other than that, she's a low damage character that, like, really gets her damage... Um, from like these beams at neutral like they do really good damage on block and hit um, You want to get these drones as fast as possible They just give you like so much more control uh, She has a sweep that is a normal that you can combo off of Which is that it is the only sweep that's like not crouching hard kick. It is a crouching medium kick. If you play Dragon Ball Z, this is SSJ Goku's 2M. It breaks armor, godlike poke, like low profile, like goes mad far. It is incredible. Um, but yeah, that's basically it. You pick her if you just want, like, a... I guess kind of like a Guilty gear S character. Like, she has dust and jump cancels. Uh, but you also want to zone. And, like, if you're good with her, like, it'll really show. Some matchups legit. The way Sonic describes it is point and click. It's just like... They're on the ground, you shoot here. Then the air, you shoot there. They're moving in, you shoot the missile. They play, like, armor assist, you put the mine. They move, you shoot beam. Like... That is how you play her. So install. All her beams now have unique properties. So now they launch. Head drones come way faster. But they don't change. However, you can use them to get more time uh, on the install. Instead of double jumps, now she gets an IED. So she can do stuff like... Like... She can mix you. And then after the time runs out, she explodes, 
And that is like, pretty dang safe on block. Like, I've only seen it punished once. Mix. Then you gain more time. Something that's crazy about this, actually, I might as well show it, is that if you manage to install, you can actually tag her out. And if you tag her out, and you block the opponent's attack, and you out for counter, that is curtains for them. It is like the best out for counter in the game, but it takes a lot to set up. Because you need like four bars to do it. Um, but the super is risky, like if you install and they combo you, and the time runs out, and the explosion doesn't make contact, uh, you get full combo punished for it, because this will happen. So that's how you're chilling, you're chilling, right? And then like, you find yourself getting hit and launched on the other side, you are vulnerable that whole time. So like, she's just gonna jump in and heavy counter hit punish you. Um, but yeah, she she becomes insane in that install. She legit gets to do like air beam, air dash beam. That is so good. She gets to do stuff like like that is so cool. Um, there is one more thing about this. If you have bar, this super in install will like bounce them and you get a combo or you can hold it and it'll automatically detonate the explosion. Um, so that, that mode is actually like, she, she legit becomes like probably the best character in the game when she's in that mode. It is just very hard to use because you are always at risk of dying if you're wrong. Um, but yeah, again, like play this character if you like zoning, you know, if you like point click adventure games, if you like schmooving, and if you like exploding and doing this, this as a DAC and as a super smokes health bars. Like, I'm saying, like, if you hit two characters, her beam assist is probably her best one. It's like, if you've ever played a versus game, you can imagine why beam assists are good. It's legit just like control space. That space is yours. You can crouch under it which is its weakness, so you can't really use it for block strings, but the amount of control you get at neutral just like overrides this, because if you play a character with an overhead and they're crouching, you just overhead them. Good for mix-ups, good for combos. Good for incomings, like you can just legit call the beam and be like, and then no one knows what side that hit on. <laughs> That's so good. So yeah, the, the beam assist is really good. It's really good, especially if like the opponent is jumping a lot. You can use it to catch their landing and just control that space. Um, She has like also this assist. This is an armor assist. It's pretty good actually as well. Um, But it's hard to justify playing her for just this assist. Uh, you play this assist if you just like Robo, but um, don't really care for beam. But I wouldn't pick the character for the assist, is basically what I'm trying to say. This beam assist is actually incredible. Okay, so now we're gonna do Annie. Um, again, she's kind of like Soul Bad Guy, I guess. So she has like these fireballs. That one is like small and doesn't go that far. This one's a little bigger and goes a little further. And this one's really big and goes full screen. You can run behind it. It's pretty OD. But she doesn't have like an IED mix up, even though she can air dash, she can't like IED open you up like Philia and Fortune can. Um, the way she wants to open you up is like mostly through cross ups or through uh, footsie tool buttons like this one. So her jumping hard punch is like pretty absurd. Like, look at the hitbox on it. It's all hitbox, no hurtbox. So this button is like really, really abusable. It means you can do stuff like this and hit people from like this height. And she could do it while air back dashing too, forward dashing. So 
She's like really good if like you can get the opponent to stay in place, jump over them, and then like pick a side. Uh, standing medium punch goes dumb far. And she can combo off of it like that. Um, the way you do this is you do hard punch, and then when you do the second one, you cancel it to dive kick before the second hit comes out. And then basically off of like this starter, you basically go for a reset right away. And that dash string does so much. So like this is her damaging string. This control space, like I said, you can like do her overhead behind it. You can cancel her overhead into it. Um, so like basically her game plan revolves around this button, this button, this button is really good. You can come down with it at an angle. It's multi. It has a ton of hits done, so it's like really easy to combo off of. You get the party started with that. She has two good lows. This one's a little slow, but goes far. Always combos the standing hard punch. Really good for that. And her throw is actually ginormous. So she's also like a grounded throw character. She wants to throw you like all the time because she can get push blocked pretty easily. Um. And even though she has low and then like cross up overhead, like throw is a huge part of how she opens people up in the game. So you definitely want to throw a lot when you play her. Um, other than that, she has like this punch. This punch is plus on block. And it has a follow up which is unsafe on block. But uh, it's always nice to have a move that is like plus or safe on block. So she has both. That is plus and safe. It is plus four. So you can do like stuff like that. You can like fireball. That's zero. That's like plus four and the heavy is plus 12. The risk between doing the medium and heavy one is like they can reverse you in between, but you can act so fast and like you can like position yourself, to like be out of the way so that if they reverse you, the fireball will hit you because it doesn't go away when Annie gets hit. So it's really good for that. She has a DP, um, three strengths. The only one you can combo off of is heavy. The other ones like don't knock down. It's like the only DP that does that. So like, light and medium don't knock down, but heavy does, and you can combo off of it. Mid screen you can't, but you can get this. Like, you can super off of it, but you can't uh, combo off of it outside of the corner. Um, and then this is a combo ender, like not much to it. You can kind of throw it out sometimes, like you can do stuff like this, which is pretty funny. But for the most part, like her whole game plan is like throw this, go in, jump, boom. And then I'm the hit. And then. Same side or cross up. It is so hard to get same side. There's the same side. You can do stuff like this. Again, this is just basically like her whole game plan. Um, she's not too complicated. Uh, so I'm showing you more resets than I would like. Oh my god. See how that hits? Uh, she does have a dive kick. And she does have a float. Yeah, you guys are right. Um, so her jumping medium kick, you can hold it to float like this. You can actually use it for mix-up. You can be like... Need the corner for this one. That's a DBFZ mix-up. Um, this is really interesting because like it like shifts over momentum. You can dash into it and go like that. Back dash into it and go like that. Like, they're really low to the ground, like this. Um, you can do stuff like this. To, like, be really tricky, you could be, like... Get really tricky with it. You can do stuff like that. Uh, so, it's, like, pretty unique option for mobility. Uh, you definitely want to use it. Um, this button right here will stagger if it hits them standing, but you can't, like, combo into it. Uh, in a chain. It has to go from like air chain to ground chain and that'll stagger and that's how you get like that move to combo uh, But it's like not that like uh, Not really that unique. It's like similar to Sarabella standing medium punch This move is unique if you played Marvel this is homebreaker, but this move Is the only move in the game that gives you back your OTG so that uses OTG and then now you have it again, which is insane. She gets so much damage when she can do this. She can do this plus assist. So like one of the mix-ups is other than going cross-up, you can go same side plus assist like that. That was really good. Fireball plus assist is really good. The fireball is really the 
the star of the show. Like this fireball right here is, is the star. As for her supers, that's her combo ender. So this does mad damage. This is Marvel 3 Bionic Arm. It is like basically exactly the same. You can't combo off of it without OTG in the corner, but if you're like in the corner and you do it, and you have more bar, or like anywhere on the screen, if you have enough meter, you could do this. This costs two bars, but it lets you combo anywhere on the screen. But if they are in the corner or near the corner, and you get hit by this, you get a conversion, which is pretty OD. And then mix up. Um, fully invincible, has a lot of hit stop. It, it legit is like bionic arm. He's like bionic arm. You might as well pretend that's bionic arm. This move has hit stop, which means like post flash. If you're doing something, you're gonna get hit. Um, if you weren't doing anything, you can block. Uh, so you don't have to worry about like not blocking. Be like, oh, I wasn't blocking. I'm gonna get hit. Uh, but like if they're doing anything and you do this, they get hit. You run up, you do a full combo. One of the best supers in the game because of that. And also one of the best DHC supers in the game because of that, which I'll go over in a bit. Um, her level 3. Round shirt that tracks you. Not amazing, but actually has like one really cool thing about it. Which is... If the opponent is blocking... You can do a lot of chip damage with it. So like, if you like, let's say you do... So that did like 2,000 in chip. So let's say for example in a scenario where the opponent like jumps. Because this super doesn't have hit stop, they can super you through it. But if they're in the air, most characters can't do that if they're jumping. So if they're like in the air like this, like oh they're in the air. And you get some free chip damage. So it's really good for that. Um, you can also like get a character in. If they block it and then go for that too. So it's a it's a pretty decent super for all that stuff. Uh, you pick her if you like really like high damage. So like for example, as a DHC character, uh, like because you can get the corner so frequently, like you do so much damage. That is an insane amount of damage, and you can get more if you're like a slightly more optimal too. So like as a DHC character, this super. Is an amazing DHC. Super, super good. So you can you can pick her if you want like a DHC character or a character where on normal hit she does really good damage, but on reset hit she does absurd damage. Because this is a starter. Does so much damage, and all her resets lead to that. It's either same side or cross up, and it'll explode your health bar. Yeah. She has one more super, which is pretty cap. You can combo into it with a stagger, like this. Now this super makes it so that all her normals have stars come out of them and changes the properties of them. It does so much damage on the first string. If you reset with this, they are so screwed. It, it's kind of like, it's kind of like Phoenix Feathers, but not really. Um, you can do stuff like this, and like, it's it's weird, like the, the stars like, don't really have that like much indication when they make contact, so like, she'll go into star power, and by the way, this super costs one bar and drains your meter slowly, uh, and then like, goes, like, drains faster when you do normals, so like, the stars will come out, and then like, it'll like, it'll bounce you, and it's like, it's, it's really weird, but it does so much damage. And if you've played Marvel 3, like, it's similar to, like, Virgil. Like, Virgil can do a level 4. It's the same thing with this. Level 4 combo off of it. To me, it's the same super. As, like, the, the Virgil, like, install, like, rest in peace shit. You know what I'm talking about. 
Um, but this is really, really good. Like, it makes our normals plus on block. Uh, this mix-up is, like, borked. Like, if you get hit by this... And this sets up the mix-up. If you get hit by this, like, 50-50... Like, you die. Like, you do so much damage. It does take a lot of meter, though, so you gotta be careful. Uh, she can deactivate it. Then puts down, down. It has hit stop, and you get a full combo. Which makes it really, really good as a reversal as well. So, like, if they're hitting you... They, they have to, like, bait that to stop you. Really unsafe on block, though. So, if they bait you, you're boned. We'll talk about two assists of hers. One of them is her DP assist. It, like, launches you. This one is, like, on hit kind of hard to use. Because you gotta, like, you gotta go in there when it hits. But on block... <clears throat> on block, this assist does so much. So much block stun. Most DPSs don't have, like, the amount of block stun this assist has. So if they block it, you can, like, kind of, like, use it both as, like, a DP assist and a block stun assist. So that's really good. And then her other assist that's most commonly used... Is her heavy knuckle? Boom, boom. On block, it like pushes you back like that. You can use it for mix up, for block strings. And then on hit, it wall bounces you. So for some characters like Philia, she can do this. Wow, why'd she come out from that side? Like, oh, it hit. Or Big Band in the corner, you can do stuff like this. And explode them. And then if they block it, then they're basically stuck there. So for example, you have like so much time. You're like, did it hit? Oh, it didn't. This mix. So that assist in the corner is really, really good. And then at neutral, it just covers the ground horizontally. So it's also really, really good for neutral too. So any really good assist character. Really good combo DHC character. On point, really, really good neutral. Really, really good footsie buttons. A BS jump in button. And her resets are basic, but if they hit you, you are going to die. And that is Annie.